Do you guys see this? Look at all of this visible floor and how you can access all of the drawers in this dresser. We finally got our carpet in the basement. So, a lot of this clutter is finally gone. It's all back in the basement. It's, don't ask. No, it's not organized down there. I don't have anything set up. You're not getting a tour today. I can't do that much in that fast, but I have carpet. And that means I got to get rid of the clutter. And it all went downstairs today. And I'm so excited. So, um, welcome back to my floss tube channel. My name is, name is Jen, if you're new. Um, I am hoping that I am now going to be back on a semi-regular basis. A lot more regular than I have been the last six, seven months. The models I was stitching are done. Um, I had two models that I stitched. They were Nora Corbett's. They went back to Witch Out, and I'm done. Um, so those are out of the way. No, I cannot share them with you. No, I will not share them with you if you ask. Once they are released, I will, at that point, um, share a couple of my photos. But I, I honestly do not have very many. Um, and I did, you know, send some photos to which I'll, they, they will obviously take photos of the finished product and they will post them on their website when they, those patterns release. So very excited to have those done. Which means I finally got to get back to some of my own stitching. A um, little bit burnout on the stitching and with a lot of different things going on in my life, I haven't been doing a ton. But I picked up a couple of old whips. They were little Mill Hill kits. Got those done. Started something new. So I've got a little bit to show you. I even have an FFO. What? So... I'm going to start with this one though. This is not FFO yet, but I showed this one uh, a couple videos back. This was a small little um, Halloween ornament from Chelsea Buns. Um, she is in Canada and I had not finished the gray because I could not find a single skein of 317 anywhere in my house. I finally gave up. I went and bought one. For this many stitches yeah i did um and i had to add the spider i totally forgot the little spider so this is actually done now super cute i love it um again this was stitched on fabric that i dyed and had in my collection i'm trying to i'm gonna move this a little bit to see if i get, get some better light when i'm holding stuff up there we go I'm in the bedroom, so I've got, you know, a little bit of light here, but let me see if moving the curtain helps. Okay. Hopefully you didn't see my nose hairs. Um, okay, so that's done. Woohoo! Can't wait till she releases more of those so I can get those, uh, buy those from her. And I'm going to stitch them, hopefully, all on this same fabric. And then, I don't know. Well, I already cut this out, so they're not all going to go together, but I'll have to figure out how I'm going to finish them all. The FFO. So I had been working on this Mill Hill um, on craft nights with uh, a couple of girlfriends once in a while. I finally finished it. It is this super cute little Halloween like lantern with a black cat and a pumpkin. And all I did, okay, my cats are being crazy. Um, I just used a straight pin to put it in there. This is like a little poofy thing in this frame. This frame came from Michael's originally. Um, and it looked like, it looked like this when it started. But I painted it with black glossy spray paint. And I actually have a matching set with, oh, 
another little um, Mill Hill Halloween lantern kit. So I'm planning on decorating with those for Halloween. Probably put them on my mantle. But I just stuck them in there with straight pins. I really need to, I really need to dust these because I don't like to dust, but they're, they're, they're really dusty. You don't get the full black glossy, glossy effect. I need like a dusting paintbrush to get all the little dust out of all the crevices so you can really see how glossy it is. Anyway, those are done. You can decorate for Halloween. And um, because they're just stuck in there with straight pins, I could actually take these off and switch them out for um, other little Mill Hill Halloween finishes. So like I could change it up like every week if I wanted. And then this is what I showed you. Um, I actually purchased two more of these. They're not at Michael's anymore, but when they had been at Michael's on clearance, I had told Mo at work and she had grabbed a bunch so we could sell them at the shop. So I picked up two more. I'm gonna leave them the distressed white and I'm gonna use them for Christmas Mill Hills because I just think that's gonna be super cute. My other finish is another Mill Hill kit. It's this lantern. And here is the finished product. Isn't it so pretty? So I could stick this one on one of these frames. Sorry, I was talking as I like turned my head completely. So I could stick this one on there. Or I've got a whole bunch of other, you know, Christmassy Mill Hills. Same thing. I could swap them out like every week and kind of change it up if I wanted to. But so that's my other finish. And then I have one start and it was a new start. And it was like right after I finished the, the models. I was itching for a new start, of course. Sorry, I'm trying to put that all on the bed. So I pulled out this little Bent Creek pattern for fall. And here is my start. And this is on a opal fabric, an opal even weave. Um, I think it's a 32 count because it's pretty tight, like it probably shrank. I don't know. I'm doing it two over two. It's like a nice tan mocha color. And I am stitching this in hand because there's lots of large sections of color. So this right here is the start of that llama's head. An ear, this is head. So that's where I'm at. And I haven't worked on it much. So I think that was only two nights of stitching. And I think I kind of, like I'm kind of torn. I might actually take this out and switch to one over two because it is like super tight. I don't know if the camera is going to focus on that. Let's try. It's, it's really tight. So I, I don't know. I hate tearing stuff out. I'm a lazy stitcher. I don't know we might just keep going with it okay so that is it for finishes and whips um, like I said I'm hoping to get back to like a semi-regular basis though so you'll get to see more whips soon um, I ended up with a lot of purchases again it happens that way you know it just does I'm not gonna take these all out um, I purchased these minders from Charisse. Um, she posts in one of the stash unloading groups. So there's this little black cat. And then this Halloween bat. So cute with those glasses. Oh my God, I love it. And then I just couldn't pass this up. This little penguin. Thought that was cute for winter. Again, the glasses. And these pretty pumpkins. Pumpkins and flowers. 
and oh there's more minders okay this came from maples minders and more i would love to but my cat and i already made plans <laughs> i love that love it and i think i had yep this came from maples as well so i got um, you know what? I'm going to take this off because this one is a gift. So I need to send that one out. But I bought this one for myself. Let me put it on. Oops. I'm making a mess of this today. I need to put it on something because it's pretty small. Put it right here. It is... The picture frame from the door at, in Friends, in, uh, show Friends, and it says, I'll be there for you. I had to get that. Okay, put that there. Let's see what this one is. These are from Brenda's Minders and More. Oh, forgot about this one. More fall pumpkins and flowers. Pretty. And then I got these. Also friends. Joy doesn't share food. And hello. My name is Regina Falange. I love those. I love friends. It's such a good show to just have on for background noise. Because you, you've seen it so many times. You still can laugh at the jokes and whatnot and yep it's sad that it's not on netflix anymore russell russell sorry i should have opened these beforehand i thought i had and i was wrong sorry okay these two Setas and then Hocus Pocus. Those two, and then, oh, this is actually not minders. This is, oh, there are minders in here. I lied. This is from uh, Gina's Unique Boutique. And I, ooh, there they go. Baby Yoda. Stay out of my bubble. Super cute. And that one's another gift. Forgot about that one too. Gotta get those sent out. And then, ooh, the cat almost got nailed with these scissors. They fell out of the bag. Some scissors that have dragons. Aren't those cool? I love them. Love them. Sweet. Now that the clutter is all gone, like you can see, I put my Biscornus. Um, some of the ones that have been stitched for me, some of them that I've stitched in a little gift cushion that was stitched for me, I have a little display there. Um, and I have um, something that I'm going to display scissors in as well. So I got to get that set up. Um... See what else did I buy? This is kind of purchases, but um, next issue of World of Cross Stitch. I only have one thing in here that I really liked, want to stitch for myself, and it's this. And this is um, the Fabies Masterpiece or Masterclass, and it's a series in the magazine and. This one's just so cute, so I can't wait to stitch that. I gotta find somewhere to pile stuff. Wonder who's gonna put this all away. Uh, just cross stitch, and there are a few in this one. Look at this owl. Isn't he cute? Oh, I love it. Love it. And these owls, they did this as a bookmark. 
I do not think I would stitch it as a bookmark. I would find something to stitch it for. I don't know what, but I'll find something. And then this owl, and I need to cover up this chart. I have to stitch that. Isn't that awesome? Yes, it is. Yes, yes it is. And then, I thought this was pretty for fall. And if I stitch this, I think I would leave off this arch and leave it out for all fall. Because it's really pretty with the flowers. And then, the ornament issue. There was not nearly as much this year as past years that I would personally stitch. Um, yeah. I don't really think I'm going to say anything else about that. But I do want to stitch this one. This Santa. I hear people. Hey, where's the kids? Oh, they're already down at the neighbors. Alrighty then. And then there is this ornament. Cover the chart. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love that. I love that. And this one. Another one. Cover up the chart. so pretty so there's three um, that I would really see myself stitching this year picked up Doreen Jones cross stitch collections lots of good patterns in here all Doreen Jones so um, I actually picked this up at Joanne um, and I'm willing to bet Barnes & Noble probably has it too And this came from Amazon, Cross Stitch Christmas. Really, really pretty stuff in here. Um, I have some like really annoying sinus crud going on with these weather changes. This is just, I, I wouldn't stitch this, but so simple and elegant. find oh what's on it um something got on this i need to wipe down the back of this interesting these are pretty it's really gonna drive me nuts like if it was lotion or something or whatever where did it come from this is pretty. That's the one from the cover. I like this with the birds. Look at this little squirrel. Isn't he cute? He's cute. This is pretty. Not one that I'll probably stitch, but it's pretty. What's this book leaning on? Like, now I need to know what else this stuff is on. This is pretty. I will, I would like to stitch that as well. So again, this came from Amazon. Um, here's a pretty like, snowflake pattern. This is Cross Stitch Christmas, 20 beautiful designs for the festive season. And it is a French name, Helene Le Lebert. Uh, yep, butchered it, I'm sure. Ugh, I gotta clean that. Okay. Oh, it's on this too. Sweet. Whatever. Okay, so this, I had a viewer tell me about this calendar. She had ordered it from 
I don't remember, a website. I found it on Amazon, and I've gotten this one the past two years. So I was kind of shocked that I hadn't picked it up for 2021 yet. But look at this. What? This is a lot of great patterns. The butterfly, the love, the unicorn, the flamingos, the dragonfly. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. So I'm excited for that. And this has something on it too. I got this little kit. A is for Angel. That'll be a nice little cushion to put out at Christmas. And it's the full kit. Yep, full kit. I picked up this trim at Hobby Lobby because their Christmas stuff was on sale. It's just some gold cord to keep on my in my finishing supplies. I've got some floss of the month from Hand Dyed by Rolanda. So this would have been August and this was September. Or July and August. No, August, September. I just got this one yesterday. Very pretty. And then I also picked up her um, Halloween limited edition floss. And another silk. I already have this color, but it was amazing, so I picked up another one. And then hand dyed by Rolanda. She also had some limited edition Halloween... Um, trio of dyed fabric. So this is 28 count Lugana and the pieces are nine and a half by ten. And then I also got 28 count linen. So you can see how differently the dye, the fabric takes the dye. And then I have 32 count linen and even weave and I think one of them is opal. Um, on the way because she posted those the other morning. This is from Maples, Minders, and More on Facebook. And this is a 32 count linen that I picked up with all the greens. No idea what I'm going to use that for yet, but it was very pretty. I think it's ice dyed. that up. I'll stick the tag back in there so it doesn't get lost. You see me leaning back to reach more. Okay. Um, dying for cross stitch. Halloween edition. Um, these are cotton. Yes. These might be silks. I don't know. But they're pretty. That green is awesome. And then I got a 28 count opal linen. And a 32 count opal linen. This one has some green tones in it too. It's really pretty. And then... Um, this is all Be Stitch Me fabric. This is 28 count opal linen. This was from a Friday night, um, what, Friday night fight night? Thirty-two count linen. This is hydrangea. Um, 36 count linen, also hydrangea, 28 count linen, nope, not hydrangea, sorry, hibiscus. This one's so pretty, so pretty. 
and I got my um, fabric and beads for the, um, what is it, darks, ooh, I'm going to butcher this, let me look, dark queen of the sea stitch along, pattern is from um, autumn lane stitchery, and the fabric is from under the sea fabrics, so I got my fabric and my beads and the fabric is called bewitched it's gorgeous so now that i have this i can print out part one of that sale and start working on that i got some rulers not super exciting for most people but these are at a quarter inch rulers for quilting because I bought a quilt kit. So Christine stitch all the things and my cousin Jeannie and I are all going to be stitching this quilt and as soon as it gets here I will show you. This was a gift to me. Very nice little thank you card. This came from a good stitchy friend of mine um, I let her borrow a pattern and she repaid me with the most gorgeous silk and colors silks. Aren't those beautiful? She totally did not have to do that, but this was in with the pattern when she returned it to me. This one is quite variegated. Very pretty, very pretty, and they're so soft. So soft. So, add those to my collection and find something awesome to use them on. Thank you, thank you. These got picked up at work. Mill Hills. So originally I was thinking I would stitch these two for those frames. So that's why I picked them up. I think those will be cute. Um, these came from work as well. Look at those little sloths. So cute. And then the next, um, the two, the two parts for the tiny modernist Halloween, um, Halloween Ouija. So I got that, and Anna Lee Waits. That's so pretty. I gotta find a, I don't know if I'll use the same threads that are called for. It uses sampler threads, but if, I, I might just pull from my own floss, but I'm definitely gonna have to find greens with lots of variegation, because that just looks so cool. I got, oh, and then Luminous Fiber Arts. I picked that one up as well. Super cute. These came from Trisha, Three Owl Threads. I picked up this one. And the Blue Flower Halloween Parade. And I picked up a third pattern, but it was a gift. So that's already out the door. These came from, I don't remember. Somebody was doing a sale online one, one day and I picked them up. I've got an angel. And then Waxing Moon Designs. I had to get the Haunted House Trio and the Halloween Critters. So cute. I picked up these two. I'm not going to pick up the full series, but I thought it would be cute to do a couple of these for fall. And put those out for decorating. This is the, here's a picture on the back of the whole series. That's Shane and Christine. Stony Creek. Winter Welcome. I love lighthouses. Stony Creek. It's a very nice stocking. 
And I'm really excited about this one too. Lena Lawson. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. All DMC. That's it. Wow. It didn't take as long as I thought it would. It's awesome. Okay. We are also going to get back to giveaways. So, giveaway number one is going to be a Rovaris pattern because they provided me with um, a few patterns a while back. I've already given away, done a giveaways for a couple of them, but I want to get this one in. This is Happiness is Walking on the Beach. So if you'd like to be entered for this giveaway, oh, standard giveaway rules, please be over 18 so I can have your address legally and send this to you if you win. Um, don't say giveaway in the comments. I'll delete it. Um, yeah. You know, you guys know the drill. If you would like to be entered for this pattern, just say, I love the beach. And then, because I ended up with two issues, one that I purchased and one that came with my subscription that I forgot about, we're going to give away a copy of the Christmas ornament um, issue of Just Cross Stitch. So, if you'd like to be entered for this giveaway, just say, um, I want to stitch some ornaments. And I'll get you entered. My apologies, I'm also going to keep these um, to the U.S. only um, because this week they're, they're bigger, so shipping is going to be more. I should have started with that. Okay, so those two. This is my big giveaway. This was my what, 2,000 subscriber or 2,500 subscriber giveaway slash birthday giveaway slash, and then we all disappeared for seven months because of COVID. So um, this is my big giveaway, and it's going to come in this project bag, which was made and don't, I love this fabric. Isn't that cool? This was made and donated um, by my stitchy friend, um, Tina. So we're going to put it in that, and then I've got three patterns that were given to me um, by somebody. Uh, these were from um, Cheryl. She donated these. And this one. So there's three patterns. There is this tool because it is one of my favorite. Um, I use it for um, getting the corners poked out really carefully when I make pillows with my cross stitch. There's this pair of tweezers in case you have animals and end up with specialty fibers in your stitching. This was donated by hand dyed by Rolanda. So there's a piece of fabric and there is a floss pack. It's so pretty. It's all like sagey greens. It's, it's awesome. Then we've got um, some stitchable banding. Here, children. Some old blue eyes, hand dyed fibers, silk. Beautiful blue, beautiful. Um, another piece of fabric, and I think this is a mystery fabric. It is, it is a mystery fabric, but it's really cool. Very nice. We've got the Sam Sarah pattern. We've got a praiseworthy stitches pattern. Halloween, perfect timing right? So this is all going to be in this um, giveaway. And again, this is 
the big giveaway that got, got postponed, finally making up for it. So let me get this all back in this bag. This is a vinyl front um, on this project bag. Get this all in here. So if you would like to be entered for the big giveaway, um, and again, the big giveaway is only going to ship in the U.S., um, just comment with I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. also distracted by children's voices um, if you'd like to be entered in the big giveaway just just comment with them um, I like big prizes um let's see what else okay so now that was for US participants out of country viewers subscribers watchers I have not forgotten you. I will be doing a gift card giveaway. Not this round because I want to come up with um, a way to avoid scamming. I have a couple people I'm going to be talking to. Um, but we will do that next video. So we've got the three prizes. Don't chew on my stuff. We've got the three prizes for right now. Be sure that you're a subscriber. Um, I think I've caught up with replying to everybody's videos at this point or comments at this point so that should be done and then keep your eye open hopefully I'll be back in one to two weeks we'll have some more giveaways um, I'm gonna be uh, working on getting everything organized in the basement so that means I'm gonna be coming across more um, stuff to kind of purge out of my collection um, and we'll go from there I'll end up having a bunch of stuff to post on one of the unloading sites soon too. So just got to get things a little bit more organized, but we're one step closer. I hope you guys are having a great um, start to fall. Um, I, I'm not sure if it's the same everywhere, but here in Michigan, it is clearly like getting to be fall. Our temperatures are dropping at night. We had frost night before last for the first time. So... I remembered to have the mums pulled into the garage for the night, <laughs> but um, hopefully I, I, it's supposed to warm up this coming week um, and get back up to like 78 during the day. So that'll be nice. <laughs> I don't, I'm not ready for the, for the warm temperatures to completely disappear. So hopefully you guys are uh, staying safe everywhere out in the um, west with the fires. I know I've been following some of that on Facebook and it's just been insane. Um, I, I just can't imagine what so many people are going through. So um, keep stitching, keep up with, uh, you know, using your stitching as, as some relaxing and getting out of the real world for a little while. So hope you're all doing well, and I'll check back with you soon. Bye.